Hi, I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com. Today we're going to talk about a project in Sycamore Township, Ohio. Very unique and interesting project that came our way as we were working on a 37 foot high retaining wall about a quarter mile from here. In the course of doing that work, I often drove by the site and I noticed one day that a general contractor had begun to make an excavation into the hillside behind me. So I stopped into the trailer and I asked the contractor what his plans were to retain the hill and he told me that he was going to build a reinforced concrete gray retaining wall. Knowing that this is a relatively nice part of town, I suggested that he consider allowing us to present him a design for a different type of retaining wall. The contractor was intrigued by my suggestion, so we prepared a design and we got bid numbers through a couple different contractors and the result is a 13 and a half foot high ready rock wall that utilizes no geogrid. We're standing in front of the wall at the wall's highest part. In this area, the wall is 13.5 feet high, and that includes the no a number of blocks that are buried. This wall rests on gray shale and thinly bedded limestone bedrock. A portion of the vertical excavated bank consists of shale bedrock, and then very stiff clayey soils above that. The bottom four rows of retaining wall block are five feet from face to rear. All the rest of the blocks are 41 inches from face to rear, except for the very top block, which is about 28 inches from face to rear. The entire zone behind the wall blocks to the excavated face was filled with an angular crushed limestone that prevents poor water pressure from building up and fills in the voids and helps to retain the excavated bank. Some of the advantages to using this retaining wall system for this particular project was that we avoided having to make a large excavation for a footing had we used a reinforced concrete wall. The appearance is much more attractive than a reinforced concrete wall and the distance of excavation that would have been required for a geogrid reinforced wall would have been greater also. With a reinforced concrete retaining wall, one of the challenges would be having laborers inside the formwork and between the excavated bank in order to construct the stem of the reinforced concrete wall. That would create a dangerous condition. In this case, we have the excavated bank and we have laborers with machines just simply placing concrete blocks and then taking bobcats and dumping gravel behind it. With the geogrid wall, we have the same condition. Laborers walking very close up to a vertical cut face of soil with vibratory compacting equipment or other types of machines that could cause that bank to come down toward them. The retaining wall at this site also included three 90 degree bends a significant amount of landscaping and a fence that was actually installed by coring into the top units of the block. Careful construction of the 90 degree bend is required to achieve an attractive appearance. At retainingwallexpert.com our knowledge of the various retaining wall systems allows us to help you make the most of your project. At this particular site, we help the owner get the most land area possible for the least cost, and we did so with a beautiful retaining wall system. I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com, right here, right now.